few uh, months ago now, I made a video. I made many. But I made a video in which I told you what is Mr. Reliable when it comes to acoustic guitars from a Luthier perspective, from a guitar text perspective. And the guitar in question on that day was a Court Earth series guitar. You might remember that video, you might go look it up. I find them incredibly uh, reliable. Every time I've worked on an Earth series Court guitar, um, they're good guitars. Really good guitars. They sound great. They're surprisingly good for the money. Uh, running them close is Washburn guitars. And here is your basic D6S. Spruce top with a little walnut inlay around the sound hole. Um, very blocky bridge. Uh, sort of a tortoise shell style um, binding. It's probably not real tortoise shell. And the rest of it's just very standard uh, Dreadnought acoustic guitar. Um, is there a brand that you keep an eye out for, like I do? Because if I see Courts, Crafters, Washburns, um, Yamaha 7 or 800 series guitars, um, what else? Seagulls, um, Art Luthery, so, you know, all the Godan stuff. Um, and it's you know, somewhere in the uh, hundred dollar range or below if it needs work. I'm always interested because they are just very reliable. Um, they're just extremely dependable and um, always turn out to be good guitars. Here's another one. It's the low end of the Washburn line. It's not as low as the Oscar Schmidt stuff or, or the Lion stuff. Uh, sort of their budget series stuff. It's an actual washburn. And they're just, I mean, I, I couldn't tell you that there's anything special about the, uh, the wood, the joinery. They're just a consistently good value acoustic guitar. So I thought, you know, with all my videos about these up and coming brands, brands you've never heard of, un unlabeled guitars, I thought I would pay tribute to washburn guitar guitars. They've been around for a long time. I, in fact, have an old Washburn parlor from uh, 1903, I think it was made. Uh, they've been around a long time. Uh, they're a great American guitar company. They often don't get mentioned in the same breath as uh, Martin Taylor Guild, but I, think, I really think that they make good guitars. And at this end of their production line, uh, they put out good product for the money. Uh, it's not like Fender. When you go to the low end of the Fender line, um, I find it wanting. I, f I find it to be quite substandard. And I don't mean the Starcasters. I mean, I mean actual Fenders. Washburn's not like that. E even with these D6s, D10s, D8s, um, they're just really good, well-made, always good-sounding guitars. Uh, very reliable, very consistent production values, uh, and always a good, nice tone on the guitars. I've never had a bad washburn. I've probably had 30, 40 over the last you know, 20 years or so. I don't remember one thinking, oh, that's crap. Um, they always strike me as just uh, a well-made, you get good value for money, company. And the, those who are luthiers among you, perhaps you can back me up on this. Uh, Washburn makes good guitars. Court makes great guitars. Um, you can't say that about all of the guitar companies. I mean, there are some Yamahas I avoid. You know, there are, there are some Fenders I avoid. Uh, there are even some Martins now that I avoid. Some of the new production uh, X-Series stuff. Uh, I don't think it's for the money, I don't think it's uh, um, top quality at all. Um, but I, I have to say, when it comes to Washburn, they just make good guitars. Um, they're, they're not always fancy, they're not always uh, the one that catches your eye, but they're always going to be um, just a, a good standard of um, tone, production, craftsmanship. Um, anyway, uh, that's just my piece for today. The old Washburn guitar.
pick one up, even just for playing at the beach, around the bonfire, um, good guitars. See you next time.